What's going on guys, it's your boy the GCC and in today's video we're going to be talking about the top 3 prequel sets that LEGO needs to make. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. Alright guys, the first set that we're going to be talking about today is the Escape from Abrogato. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that correctly, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong about this. Of course, this is from Clone Wars Season 1. I just love this scene in the Clone Wars. It was just so cool with the Malevolence arc, just so cool. I definitely think we need a remake of that ship, but that's that is a discussion for another time. So the minifigure selection looks really, really nice. Of course, you would get that updated Plo Koon minifigure uh, with that Clone Wars armor, which would be really cool. So similar to the one we got uh, with Mace Windu in the Republic fighter tank, I want to say back in 2022. It also looks like you would get that Commander Wolf minifigure in his like uh, naval suit uh, instead of his clone armor, which I think is really cool. It also looks like you would get uh, the two Wolf Pack troopers, I want to say Booster and Sync, I want to say their names are. But again, I'm probably wrong about that. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, just super cool design clone troopers, though, with their wolf pack armor. It would be really cool to see the wolf pack uh, phase one troopers back again. So that'd be really cool. And then, of course, it looks like you would get those space aerial uh, B1 battle droids, of course, with the gray and uh, tan colorway, which would be really cool. I know we haven't seen them in a while. So that'd be really cool to have them back again. So it looks like you, for the builds, um, it looks like you would have a clone escape pod uh, from a vendor. So that'd be pretty cool. So you'd have probably um, a little bit of interior in there not much though maybe just to fit maybe like one or two of your clones in there and then it also looks like you would have uh, this attachment pod which would connect to the escape pod so um, I'm assuming you could fit one of your battle droids on top of that attacher thing so the cool thing about this set is Brick Wizard designed this that the claws can move up and down so you can actually fit it around the escape pod which I think is really cool um, I definitely could see this set going for a nice probably I'm gonna go with $40 because I don't want this set to be too expensive the build don't look to be that big but at the same time though you're getting some awesome minifigures for $40 so I'm really hoping Lego makes this one day I mean that would be so cool to have all those minifigures especially those phase one of Wolfpack Troopers and an updated Plo Koon I love this set but anyway let's move on to our next set all right guys the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the Acclimator class assault ship so now this is basically from uh the Attack of the Clones movie as well as the early days of the Clone Wars but not prominently seen in the Clone Wars as much compared to the Venom but this ship would be really really cool I mean I still think it's pretty famous alongside the Venator I mean obviously we just got the UCS Venators I would love a play scale Venator but also a play scale acclimator class Star Destroyer to go right along with that I think that'd be really cool but anyway uh the ship specifically looks really nice the minifigures um it looks like you would get a updated Mace Windu a Padawan or young Anakin Skywalker it looks like you would get that clone commander a couple of phase one clone troopers and of course a couple of B1 battle droids I'm assuming the Mace Windu would be similar to the ones we've gotten in the past and also that Anakin um, probably wouldn't change too much from his older design you know maybe just an updated uh, torso or uh, leg design or something like that but um, you know another clone commander it's like eh, I would love to see maybe like the clone lieutenant or clone sergeant I know they did a bunch of colors back in the day when like 2013 or 2014 so slap a different color on them than yellow um, I feel like that'd be pretty cool a lot of people want to see that and of course phase one clones we definitely need some more phase one clones so I would love to see them um, as well so the ship itself though i'm assuming this set would probably go for around 180 bucks just because i mean definitely going to be decent size and of course it's going to have that carrying stick and then you can open it up and you can have all your interior stuff with the bridge command center uh you know weapons depot all that fun stuff the hologram room and all that you can have your clones doing different things i just i definitely think this would be awesome to have though It'd just go great against that ucs vendor um, i'm really hoping we also get some more separatist ships but that's a different uh video for another time but anyway i love this set i definitely think lego needs to make this let's move on to our next set all right guys you know what time it is it is meme set time and today we have the gamorian princess yes you heard me correctly the gamorian princess just look at the gamorian guard in a princess outfit this is absolutely hilarious i just love the gamorian guards i mean obviously from the book of boba fett but of course from the original trilogy um specifically return of the jedi just the fat pigs i think that's awesome but just look at him in the princess costume of course some um, he would have that little skirt piece going going around he would have the white shirt you can see his armor pads going across his shoulders then he is wearing that princess crown and he has the wand as well which just makes his minifigure even better i'm really hoping the lego does this maybe for the may 4th promo or just throw him in some random meme set i would love to see this happen i know a lot of people would love this minifigure but anyway let's move on to our next set all right lads the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the trade federation landing craft now i know i've talked about this set in the past but i just 
think this needs to happen. I mean, come on, like Lego has to make this in the next few years, right? I mean, this is such an iconic set, of course, from the Phantom Menace, but also uh, prominently in the Clone Wars and its Clone Wars color scheme. So I definitely think this needs to happen. But um, so this is based off the Phantom Menace, though, um, with its tan colorway. It looks like you would have some interior space uh, for your stat speeders and, of course, for your battle droids. Um, I just think the minifigure selection looks pretty good. It looks like you would get an updated Qui-Gon Jinn, which we haven't had in a while, uh, an updated Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi, which would be pretty cool, an updated Jar Jar Binks, um, a couple of B-1 pilot battle droids, and then, of course, a bunch and bunch of regular B1 battle droids. So this is basically like the MTT um, in the present, basically. So I would love to get maybe like 10 or 15 B1 battle droids in this set. So you could really just grow your battle droid army. I think that'd be really cool. I mean, you would definitely have a lot of interior space to just stuff them all in there. Um, I definitely could see this set probably going for like 80 to, or $90. Now you might say that's a little expensive. Um, but you know, I want this set to be pretty decent size. And especially because you know, Lego is going to be putting all these great minifigures in here, you know, they're going to buy up the price maybe this could even go over a hundred dollars but who knows i just definitely think lego needs to make this you know whether they base it off the phantom menace or the clone wars i'm really hoping they make it congratulations guys you have made it to the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had a fun time putting it together and i definitely think lego needs to make some of these awesome prequel sets shout out to brick wizard 59 and star wars photoshop for making these awesome sets i'll put a link to their instagrams down in the description below if you guys enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it would help out the channel big time and honestly you would make my day also go ahead give this video a thumbs up again i'd really appreciate it and you would help out the video big time i know i said that a lot guys but it really would mean a lot i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one